Hello, Backpage Gamers, it's me, Backpage Gamer. Alright, and in this video, I think what I shall do is a little magic trick and show you my garages. Uh, I don't need to show you my actual apartments because, you know, it's just an apartment. There's not much really to show in there. But I'll show you my garages. Not because it was popular demand, but because I just feel like it and I'm bored, so... A lot of them aren't finished. I'm going to my most complete one at the moment. So once I get there... Something feels a bit laggy, but that's fine. Right. So I just finished customising this. Tell me what you guys think. It is, what is it? Invert... Corquet. Corquet. That's point how you spell it. Or say it. Spell it? Say it. I don't really care. So here is the first garage. This is my sports classics. So I go in here. This is the most complete garage I've got so far. And it's not really brilliant, but what I've tried to do here is uh, make everything sports classics. So if you go inside them, you can see that there's sports classics. For example, this thing here. You can see it's a sports classic. But anyway. My inspiration from this was because there's so many sports classics and personally they just I really like them. I like them a lot. They've got good handling and uh, they're just nice. So anyway. So this is the first vehicle I've got. This is what is this? It is the Declass M Mamba. Now this is probably one of my favourites. I can't really wave anything in here but I will show you them all. And then what I shall do is bring out my favourites. So uh, then I'll just rev them and show you a bit. But I love those rooms on there. Those are the stock rooms, by the way. I just Those are awesome, I love them. This is... Let's see what this is. This is the Grotty Stinger. This is the one with the roof. This also sounds pretty, pretty nice. And it is pretty nice. Custom chrome rooms. Um... Not sure how many, uh, I forgot the name of them now. Those lines in there. I'm not, not sure how many of them there is. But that's pretty nice. And I'll quickly show you the interior actually. If I can get into first person. Come on. Oops. There we go. Just plain old interior. Nothing too special, but yeah, those rooms are awesome. So I've tried to keep everything old kind of colours. Try and keep it so it's feeling old. So you can see that I've gone with old wheels on some of these. Now this is my next one. I really like this. This is probably one of my favourite sounding cars in the entire game. It's fast, which is really nice. And I just love the look of it. It's just a nice car all around. So I'll quickly get into this. Here you go, just same old interior. Here's the exterior. So I'm definitely going to bring this one out to show you. This is the Monroe, I think. I believe it's the Monroe. Yeah, it is Pegasi Monroe. Same kind of style interior. I've got some different rooms on this. I tried, well, not really tried, but this is kind of like a supercar for me. Um, Quite a nice car. I do like it. A nice bright yellow. Probably one of the brightest yellows in the game. Now there's another one. This one's... I gave it a cream colour to try and keep it looking very old. Now this one's a very nice one. It's got some kind of nitro down there. Nitro gauges. That's a nice car. It sounds good as well. So that's that. Come on. There you go. That's the rear end. I know you guys. I know you guys like that that part of the vehicle. This one, yeah, not a fan of. Don't quite. I don't really like this one. It's um, Lampardi Pigella or something. So, yeah, it's part of the. I'm not a hipster update. I think. Yeah, not really the biggest fan of it. I think it's quite ugly, really. Although it is a sports classic, and that's what I'm doing here. So I showed that. Now here. Here's the James Bond car, it's JB007 I believe. 
Here we go, look. James Bond 007. No, it's not 700. I feel like an idiot now. But yeah, you can see it's got the guns, all that kind of stuff on it. I can't tell if... Uh, I've got a feeling those are the normal default stock rims. So there you go. But yeah, this is the 007 vehicle from one of, from the early movies. But the, of course they'd have to change it for uh, copyright or whatever. All those kind of laws. This, yeah, don't really like this car either. It's, I just, yeah, not a fan of this at all. Although it's very fast. I'm just not a big fan of this one. I just think it's pretty ugly. Just without the ugly rims, I think it's just ugly anyway. I tried to give it some tuna rims, but it still looks dreadful. So anyway, now these are the Valentine update vehicles. I've got two because a new one came out. But this is the first ever one that was put out, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. So here we are. It's just pretty stock, really. That's all the upgrades you can do to it. So if I look inside, it's pretty nice inside. Nice big view if you like first person. So it's a nice car. Fast as well. Then you've got this one here, which is just ridiculous. I mean, if you bring this into customs, it's like having... A it's like um, a Benny's motor swap vehicle, this, with the amount of customizations you can do to it. It's very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. So, as this is the most recent one I've got in here, I will bring it out and show it off a bit. So again, stock rims. Try and keep it in that style. And you'll be able to see here, the engine actually uh, moves. There you go, look. So, I'll bring it out here. There you go, look at that. So, let's bring this down. Oh, it's night as well. There's all lights on. There you go. Looks a lot brighter like that than that. But I'll just bring it here. Alright, so there you go. And I need to turn the radio off pink. If I can do that. There we go, sorry about that. So there you go. It's a pretty nice car. I do like it. Although it's not something that I drive a lot of. Again, I just got it in there because it's a collection vehicle. You can only buy it once a year. So that's why I've got these. So, if I open all the doors here. There we go. See... Not many doors, four door, since there isn't a boot really, I'll just drive this up with the doors open, I'll be able to close them, hey there you go, so that's one of them, do a quick sound test for you, I don't, just sounds like a, a normal vehicle really, there you go, just reverse the sim, there we go, now I'll show you another vehicle, Um. So that one there pretty much sounds the same. It's the exact same, it just doesn't have all crap on it. So yeah. Um, let's start with this one. The colour of this in the night is really nice. I'm not sure what orange is. I think it's sunrise orange. But yeah, this is the Mamba. Yeah, this, I love the rims. A lot. So. Where's the exhaust? There you go, that sounds best. I uh, see that there's a lot of movement behind me, so I'm guessing. Uh, it seems alright, they're going the other way. But yeah, this thing's fast, and if you like fast cars, then this is perfect. Oh god. So I just open doors. Oops. There we go. Pretty ugly looking engine, because, you know, GTA. So yeah. Let's get some flames going. There we go. Right. So that's that. Let's bring it back up without being able to see. Oh god. It's very fast this actually. And that's what I like about the, the classics. They seem really fast. Although really. They're not that fast. They're just. 
I don't know, they just feel faster than normal sports cars and I'm not sure why. Well that's what I like about them. They're just the feet they're just nice to drive. And this here is probably one of my favourite sounding cars in the entire game. It just sounds so good. Definitely when you rev it. Hit down the road. Now to be able to hear it properly you kinda need to be driving then you just let off the gas and it just makes such a nice noise. Anyway, we open to light. Open doors. There you go. Again, just a pretty stock engine. It's a lot smaller than the other one. But, the Mamba. But yeah, that's that. Now I'll bring this for the little guy because it's a nice car. But yeah, the this is where the sound comes out, the exhaust. So, if you want to hear it, go to the exhaust. Right, you didn't hear it then. But it's got a very nice noise that I haven't heard in any other vehicles. Oh god. Now you can kind of hear it, it kind of um, pops and crackles. Just sounds so good. When you're going downhill I seem to get a good... There you go, you can hear it there. There, there we go. Right, so where is it? Next one. I'm sorry, my driving is absolutely terrible on keyboard and mouse. I usually use a controller, but it's not turned on. Now it is. But I can't use it anyway, unless I open the game with it turned on. And I'm going to bring up a video with that in GTA, because it's the Steam controller. And it's pretty interesting how it all works with the gyro and stuff. So what else is a nice vehicle to drive? This one here is quite nice. Um, I'll just hop in. Now this is going to be it for my sports classics garage. It's the most complete garage I've got at the moment. Oh yeah, this one sounds good. It's fast as well. But, yeah, there you go. So I don't know where I'm going with this. Yep into a wall by the looks of it. So if I uh, again to the vehicle doors there you go pretty much the same engine empty boot pretty big boot ish this vehicle is very strange because it's got a very weird looking back it's very square which is quite a weird thing to look at really and it's very high, it looks very high off the ground. With small wheels, but it's a nice car to drive. Sounds good as well. Doesn't sound quite as good as that uh, red one I've got. So yeah, if any of you want to know what the colours of these are, let me know. And I will just reply to you, just tell me what car you'd like to know the colour of. These two are ice white, that's probably just black. This looks like, oh I don't know, kind of silvery grey. You might be able to find that cream. Uh, I don't know. That's just grace yellow. This looks like. I don't know what that one is. I think this one's cabinet red. That's just green. And this is sunset orange, I think. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I'll bring this one here out. So, yeah. I haven't uploaded in a while, sorry about that. I've just been a bit busy doing nothing, really. Yeah, this one sounds a lot faster. It feels faster as well. It feels like it's got better acceleration. Not sure about top speed, but the acceleration is definitely up there. Not the best view from the inside, either. So, yeah. I think that's going to end it for this video. The next video, I'll show you my VIP garage. Well, that's what I call it anyway. That's my sports classic garage. Um, my VIP garage is the main apartment. So that's pretty nice. Um, oh god. You can easily get to it just by going up here. Move. There we go. If you can hit this without hitting the sides. Yay. Alright. Yeah, so this garage here is going to be next. 
Maybe uploaded tomorrow, maybe in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, that one's an interesting garage. I think you'll like this one. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's got the most recent vehicles like all the armoured ones. Can't remember what update they came in, but it's got them. So, yeah, that'll be a nice one. Sure, I just need to sort it out, knee it up a bit, because it's, uh, a bit incomplete, it's got cars from all over the place in it, like the tamper. I think the tamper's in it. But yeah, I just need to sort that out and then it's done. So yeah, if in case you want to see some more flames, let's bring it into a dark corner. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you in the next video, everyone. Um, so yeah, bye. And stay tuned. And thank you again for all the support in the past few videos. Um, 102 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. I really do appreciate. Um, so yeah. So that'll be it for now. And I will see you all in the next video. And excuse the terrible driving. Oh god, that was close. Bye.